Alright y'all, I thought I'd show you what I picked up the other day. If you do any shooting at all with a, uh, a Ruger, any of the Ruger 22's and a buck mark, you know how that little button right there after a while gets, it, it, it wears on your thumb. And when you have a shake as bad as I do, trying to put them in there one at a time is not a lot of fun either. So I saw this and uh, decided to give it a give it a shot. And I'll I'll kind of tell you what the instructions tell me or tell you as you read them. When you get this thing home, <clears throat> they say number one to open the hopper and it's fixed where the hopper doesn't fall out okay and give it a shot with rim oil or a silicon um, spray well when the instructions say rim oil that's what I'm gonna use and that's what I because I don't know what's got silicone in it and I'm not a handyman I'm just not familiar with that type of stuff then they tell you do not use a round. You know, a lot of rounds have a lot of wax on the end of them. They say don't use those type of rounds because what happens? It gums up this little slot in here where these rounds slide down. They have to move freely in there. And by tilting it back and forth like I just did, that's what loads that. <clears throat> If you can see it, there's a little slit in there that grabs them by the uh, bottom of the case, bottom of the casing. And they just line up in there. <clears throat> this right here is an adjustment if you have a problem with it dropping out shells after you extract the magazine. That is a spring there is a spring in there and on the other end it's got a ball bearing you probably can't see it through this plastic but there's a ball bearing there and once it loads 10 when you extract it that ball bearing pops out and doesn't allow any more rounds to fall out through this loading ramp here this screw right here when you first get it and you go to start loading It'll only drop three or drop four or five, depending on where this is, and you back it out until it drops ten, if that's how many you want in there. Now, if you just want to put six or whatever it is in each one, you tinker with this until the right amount is fallen, and then it's the right amount every time. Okay? So I did that, and I tried it, and... I still had problems with some of these magazines and I, I looked on I looked on YouTube and I forget where I saw it but when there's a problem and it's not loading correctly it's just like with a 45 you have a problem with stove pipes and whatnot nine times out of ten it's going to be your magazine okay so I hose these down with rim oil because I don't know what kind of chemical was on here and I don't want to eat this up uh, this is made out of a, that plastic like what toothbrushes used to come in when you was a kid you know and it doesn't take much to eat it up but anyway I wish I could remember where I saw it but you take something like this if there is a problem the problem is in the magazine so you take something like this and you don't you're not going to feel it move but you shove it down in there and you and you're opening that mouth up just a little you you don't feel it any perceptible movement but it it only takes a little bit and then they work smoothly and I'll try and show you how it works because like I say it is a handy item you see the shells are lined up in there. The uh, the little ball bearing is keeping them from just falling out. There's a line here. 
and it says hold level keep that line level and you put your magazine in there that screw contacts that button and do it gently just shove it up in there there are ten you have to juggle it back and forth like that it fills the ready rack up that's what I call it I don't know what they call it and then you gently push down don't get rough with it or it won't work you make sure it's full ten ten now what could be simpler than that you can fill one of these magazines up in about three seconds if you go to banging on it it juggles the rounds around and they get cattywampus inside your magazine they won't work just keeping this thing level pushing it in there gently they'll fall in there as easy as pie that's after you it they don't always need adjustments some of these that I've purchased they're fine from the get but that's the quickest way and the simplest way I think this thing sells for twenty something bucks I believe I got this from Midway you can order them straight from the factory but it's a handy little item uh, somebody was a genius when they thought of it and uh, as you just saw it works quite well if you get tired of messing with that button pick you up one I'll see you in the next video.